Can you see the potatoes we're about to harvest? I don't think so. Guten gardening, everybody. Well, it's probably kind of hard to tell because I do have a lot of potatoes here in our keyhole bed and I've got sweet potatoes growing over top of that. But what we're harvesting today isn't one of these. It's actually hidden underneath everything in a galvanized steel container. Now, if you stick around for the whole video, you're going to get a sneak peek of our indoor garden. Exactly 100 days ago, I planted some store-bought potatoes that we rescued that were old in this galvanized steel container. This is a six gallon container. And galvanized steel is one of those steels that's not supposed to rust. So they talk a lot. I, and I think I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of raised beds these days that are made out of galvanized steel. Well, we've seen plenty of trash cans and buckets, etc., even bigger than this, but we wanted to give it a try, try growing in galvanized steel to see how well that worked for us. And so what we did was to drill a couple of holes in the bottom of this bucket. We drilled a couple holes. We filled it up with a nice, loose, well-draining mix. And then we planted a couple of those store-bought potatoes. And I planted three different potatoes in here. And our goal was to not try to overcrowd it, but just to see what kind of results we would get. Now, one of the things that I questioned about this was whether or not the galvanized steel would actually help to maintain heat a little bit better, because I know it'd be heating up pretty easily. But just in general, we wanted to experiment around with this. Because a good potato experiment can be a lot of fun. And if we see some really nice success in here, well, that might be something we continue to do in the future. And, you know, it's possible that you have some galvanized steel container lying around. And so we want to be able to say, hey, this might be a good idea or might not. Now, the results from this are, of course, very limited. This is a single container, a single six gallon container. So maybe the results aren't indicative of what we could always end up expecting. What I can tell you, though, is that these plants have been dead for quite some time. So if I just do this, I can promise you nothing is coming out with these plants so now it's up to us to look down in here and see the kind of development we got from these store-bought potatoes these are store-bought reds in case you're wondering they're an organic potato and we got a five pound bag for 79 cents so we actually got a whole bunch of five pound bags so let's see if they produce anything for us now about a month into this process i came in once the greens had grown up enough and i added another four or five inches of mix into here Hopefully that helped a little bit. The mix that we added was that dollar mix that we got. Uh, well, the, the mix we got on clearance for a dollar. All right, there's our first potato, kind of small. Now, in case you're wondering, I'm not about to grow a couple of extra hands. My gardener in training here, my younger gardener in training is coming in to help. All right, yep, there you go. All right, let's get in here and see if anything grew in here. All right, what are you seeing? I really don't know what to expect for size. But I can tell you that, hold on now, I can tell you that the potatoes we planted, the seed potatoes we planted in here were pretty substantial. Um, but we've also struggled a little bit with some store-bought potatoes in terms of them gaining big enough size. Also with these smaller containers, you overplant, which we have done in the past, you overplant the potatoes, you're not going to necessarily see the size you want. Now, one of the things I had hoped was because the size of the holes in here weren't too substantial was that we wouldn't necessarily have a lot of critter damage. This is definitely vole damage. But what I can tell you is since it was sitting, since this container was sitting underneath the potatoes and the sweet potato vines, if anything got into the other areas, then it's highly possible that they could have just crawled over into here and, and dug down a little bit. All right, so in that first area, we have some small reds. Oh, there we go. We have probably our biggest potato so far, not massive, but our biggest potato so far, I would say. So again, I'm, I'm guessing in a six gallon container, in a five gallon, we typically plant two potatoes. So in a six gallon, I put three in here. Probably that was too much in terms of the number of plants. But that being said, take a look. There we go. That being said, if I were very limited in space and I had access to a bucket like this and I wanted to grow some potatoes, well, to be fair, I'm still getting a decent number of potatoes out of this tiny little space. And maybe you're at a place where you've never had enough space to grow potatoes. It's something that you've never done before. Maybe you want to experiment around with it a little bit. Well, if that's the case, 
and this might be a way to do it. The bucket itself was a little bit pricey. I would say that I spent $12 on one of these buckets. That's not something I would typically want to do, especially since I have a lot of other plastic buckets that we've been getting for free from the bakery at our local grocery store. But that being said, maybe you already have access to one of these and it is considered to be food safe. So if that's the case, then maybe this is something you might try growing in. Well, this is our first harvest of those store-bought red potatoes. <laughs> okay. No, we didn't plant any fingerlings this time. <laughs> this is our first harvest of those red store-bought potatoes. The size of those potatoes, not massive, but nice enough to get a good meal out of this bucket. So let me go ahead and pull these back up and show you what we got in terms of numbers. I'm gonna say the number of potatoes is substantial. The amount of damage from the critters is minimal. What I would have liked to have seen would be of course some bigger results, but there's a good meal here out of the potatoes. But growing in these galvanized steel containers might be something you'd wanna try, especially again, if you have limited space, Maybe you're brand new to growing potatoes or you just have some of these containers lying around. Well, folks, if you've watched this far into our video, thank you so much for being a part of our community. And I'm gonna show you a couple of the things that we've already started here in our indoor garden. Of course, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of indoor content this season. For those of you that don't know, we have about 100 square feet of growing space inside, including a little greenhouse over here and a four by eight grow tent that's right behind the camera. But right now we're starting a bunch of different greens. We started them just a couple of days ago. And we're already here at a point where our Swiss chard is coming up. This is some beautiful Swiss chard here. We've got some of our kohlrabi that's started. Now you're gonna notice that not every single one of these cubes has the kohlrabi coming up. That's cause, well, there's a couple of different varieties and we got seeds from a couple of different years. So not all of them are gonna necessarily germinate. We've got plenty of those started. And we've got some bok choy. I'm so excited for that. I love the taste of bok choy. And of course, a little bit of spinach, although we started that a little bit later. And we have others too, but I don't wanna to share too much because I want you to be excited and ready for that indoor growing season. All right, there's a little sneak peek for those of you who watched this far. Let's get back to our video. Well, that was a pretty quick harvest. I hope you enjoyed it. It's an interesting experience for us. I think what we'll do is we'll start off with a little bit more soil mix in here and get the mix added sooner probably we'll plant fewer plants in here maybe just two potato plants in the future we'll, do, we'll definitely run this experiment again and it'll also be interesting to see if we try some certified seed potatoes in here or maybe we'll try these again we'll see but i can tell you this we have a whole bunch more potato harvest coming and we have a whole bunch more of these store-bought potatoes so it's possible we'll see some other great results as well. Hey, if you enjoyed today's potato harvest video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.